Hey there, everyone. The SoCal Plague. We're gonna be at Extreme, too! It dawned on me that I probably don't want to play Extreme Mode because it is just doing all the same guys, but the problem is it's a different last boss. Look, I'm just saying, if anyone could maybe prepare a save file that leads to the what's different in Extreme Mode, that'd be cool, maybe? I don't know, I'm using BGB for that matter, well, it's Rhino. You can tell because it's skin is green, but the bars are red. Whoa, but no, he's all brown! It's Tunnel Rhino! It's like a chameleon, it's pretty amazing. So, is this is gonna be an original level or not? I don't know, last time we got Earth G! Earth G! Fantastic. I'm glad to have made your point. Man, the just wow, hi, Mr. Mr. Bowler. The the range of that sword is just the saddest thing. Like even without the graphing the graphic flickering, it really just looks like he's like making a straight hook. Like he's zero the boxing robot in this game. Watch out that guy has a wall and an opinion. So, oh, was I supposed to climb this wall to get on top of there or something? I don't know, it's possible. Uh, check it out, it's Mr. Drill Man. Okay, at some point he was invincible, at some point he wasn't. Sometimes you forget. <laughs> it's fine, I understand. Check out that boulder, was blocking the way to nothing. I'm glad I solved that puzzle. It took me years of work. Alright, you can fall in the hole, Mr. Oh, wait, oh, see here, you can get some help. Let's really is worth hiding it out there. You don't want people to just stumble on and help all the time. That'd be ridiculous. Alright, so what's the trick to you, Mr. Drill Tank? Okay, so that's how, but then he still manages to saber out something, which is pretty cool. Oh, dang it, I want to try to climb the wall, but I didn't realize I would lose my scrolling. Check out, there's a big flashy gem there, and there's a... Oh, what? Wait, what? You can't just land on it? Why? <laughs> like, that's just... No, just got... Okay, well, check it out. I just got died. But why can't you stand on an inert rock? I guess the rock is made of panium? Like, for the longest time, people just didn't understand why the rocks were named that way, because, like, they're just rocks. But once you are an artificial life form, for some reason, the properties of Panium just fills you with pain. It's really weird and awkward and a little on the nose. A little bit. I, it's kind of funny, I kind of recognize the overall... Oh wow, that was... That was, that was so Kaizo. <laughs> like, I just don't know what you're supposed to do, though. The little... Well, they're not little, but they're really slow sliding rocks. They're in no hurry to get anywhere, but man, I'm getting slaughtered. And now I got a robot. Whoa! Zero driving a robot! That guy just died as soon as he showed up! They're very weak. They're trying their best, but their best is very poor. That's that's just tragic. Check it out, I just jumped over this hole. That's right, uh. Whoa, you, you, the, the jetting goes pretty high. So yeah, this game is weird, you just gotta hold it. You can't jump and then tap it. Which is what I want to do at all times. There we go! Got a heart! I found it and I got it! And now it's mine! Oh, the robot is so heavy! And then it protects you from the spikes. So wait, do I want to go back? Is there something back? Is there something different forward? Oh jeez, I don't know. Uh, I'm curious, so let's... Oh what, you can't... Make it, huh? No, yes, you can. What a dang, dang, well, I don't know why it's so awkward to get inside the ride robot. It's like it really shouldn't, but it kind of is. See, there, I just jumped in the middle there, but like it feels like I barely actually like interacting with it. It's just kind of touch it, and like, oh, I'm dead. wait, this is a different pit I fell into. Oh, interesting. Oh, wait, you need to use something to break that. Do I have what it takes? Fish, no. Uh, let's see here. This, no. Let's try some electricity. No, let's try some earth geyser. Alright, and how about our friend Dash? Alright, well, 
There's something hidden here. You followed the first crack floor that barely resembles a crack floor. And yeah, and they link here. Huh, okay. There are the two. Oh, you're being difficult because you're touching the edge there and that's making you fall. Now I understand. Alright, so I wonder if it, you're expected to use tunnel to get back there, which would be real silly. It could just be a case where, you know, wire sponge has a new functionality. Man, this is just check out. We got all these robots. They're just sitting there. They're very powerful. They're the most powerful sitting there force you will have ever encountered. Oh, we seem a little bit redder here. Just a bit more tomato paste, so you gotta be careful. Slash that robot. Oh, hi. That gimmick again, huh? Alright. So, <laughs> Burkano's stage gimmick. Not even original. It was stolen from a rhino. Why would you steal from a rhinoceros? Like, you barely own anything. What does a rhino typically own? A juice bar, maybe? A flower pot? And then you want to go and steal their stage gimmick. But then, you know, cheat by having your stage probably encountered first, so people aren't even aware of it. Dang rhinos abusing the fact their positions. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm gonna get shot at by this wall turret. It's pretty cool. He's got this weird, like, little, like, screw on, uh, on a pivot gimmick. It's pretty great. Uh, I might burn, but I did not. The might did not might. Check it out, I got one life almost full to defeat a powerful rhinoceros, but he has the gem chamber energy to his max. Doesn't make a hole, but you came through the wall. Alright, so you throw very flickery di diamonds, drills, the same thing, and yeah, you dash. So, whoops, yeah, I'm not sure what his tell is, because he just kind of goes whenever he wants to. Alright, this is probably just gonna be a sacrificial life, because uh, when I have more health, I wanna try and fight Rhino Man here. Uh, abuse my long-range fish attack more. Like, I'm sure that's gonna be relevant, because yeah. Rhino's major, ma majest, most major offensive ability is just the ability to just kinda decide to rush forward uh, without really any tell. I guess... I don't know what the player is... In. Oh, really? Well, that's just fascinating. I, I guess you can just extremely hit, hit and run him. I mean, that could work. It's not pretty, but you can do that. Huh. Right? I mean, it's working. So yeah, just don't wait for tells. Anticipate. Whoa! He's got the flashing rock attack. It's gonna put some jawbreaker right in your tuna salad. It's gonna ruin the recipe. I hate it when he does that. Oh boy, and here I'm just like, check it out. I'm just gonna tank the rest, because that's me. And it worked out, but alright, yeah. No, this... Don't just expect tells. Sometimes the correct strategy is completely different, and that's fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I'm just kind of weird about it. I got a drill crush! Yeah, it took it out! Doesn't look like anything. Like, I'm thinking it's, uh, when you're up in the air and, like, scram downwards and do something that way. Like, that's what it feels like. Probably what it's like. I have no proof, though.